okay? So just to close, here is a picture of some different curl patterns, more resilient up top here where we have mostly looser curls. And as we get down to the bottom, tighter curl patterns, again, a lot less resilient. I think what's missing in this picture is a 4C plus. I see a lot of 4C plus in my clinic. And, you know, this hair, I would consider that 4C, but a lot of my patients, even if they took excellent care of their hair, they wouldn't be able to get an afro of this length because their curls would be so tight that they're the maximum length that it would look like would still just be a couple inches off the head, okay? And so I, I really do shout out a lot of the 4C plus women who don't feel like they are seeing their hair type on the screens, but I'll show you some examples of that in later um, lectures as well. So in summary, curly hair is particularly fragile due to its curly nature, but also due to a lack of sebum coating. And then not all curly hair is the same. Um, while curly hair is generally more fragile than straight hair, tightly curled hair is actually the most susceptible to damage. And so we really have to touch on that. Um, but you'll see more of that as the boot camp series goes on. I really hope that you've enjoyed this talk and I look forward to seeing you in the next talk. Uh, as always, please feel free to leave comments on something that you've learned or a tip that you've gained just by watching this lecture. You guys take care, bye.